All right, guys, so I'm at the patch of the garden where the blackbird natural seeds were planted. It seems like it was yesterday. I'm just listening Saturday, but that's like, is it Saturday? Yeah, five days ago. Five days ago. Look at this. I don't know which row is what, but can you see those little guys over there? They're everywhere. Every single row has little guys coming up. Every single row here of different blackbirds natural seeds. Yeah, we're gonna have wild superfoods, wild harvested superfoods. They're growing right now. We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Welcome everybody, this is Matt Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show. Coming at you in Vilcabamba, Ecuador. And just the other day, we were watching a permaculture movie. And some of the ideas were actually quite amazing. And um, I'm excited for Angela to share them with you. Actually, I didn't watch the permaculture movie. They watched it, and Angela just told me about it. I'm kind of a workaholic. Okay, moving right along. <laughs> so, it was... Uh documentary about Seb Holzer that we were watching. Um, some of you are probably familiar with his work. He's the guy in the Alps in Austria. He's like 70 years old now or something. And um, he's doing amazing permaculture stuff out there in the Alps. He's literally growing lemons in the Alps. Like He sets up all these um, raised bed and kind of trough systems and he creates microclimates and there was, it was just like a half an hour documentary we watched with him and it was so inspiring. Um, so one of the main ideas that I got from that, which actually, you know, I've known it before, but it was so cool to see somebody just doing it on film. And it's so simple and so obvious, like all the great ideas usually are. Basically it was about making seed mixtures. So rather than planting things, you know, like in monocrops, um, even if you're dealing with like small vegetable beds, um, to make like a mixture of stuff, all kinds of different seeds together, and to plant them all together, just like scatter them all together and make sure that they're covered over. And what he does with these mixtures, he makes them in huge buckets. Like, I mean, I just made this mixture up now. I would think there's probably about 30, 40 different things in here. And this is like a handful compared to what he makes. You know, he has these huge buckets and he just goes out throwing these seeds everywhere. So this is like on a very small scale. But it was so beautiful to see that he creates these terraces and then he goes out with mixtures like this and he just throws seeds everywhere. And all this food comes up. It's just like a food jungle. And because there's such variety in there, like 40 or 50 different things, um, it creates so much like harmony within its own system. It creates like its whole kind of own ecosystem. And there's like no issues for pests and bugs with it. And of course he's in the Alps, so he probably has fewer of those issues than other people do anyway. But um, I really liked one of the messages he was sharing. He was saying, if you have issues, like really intense issues with insects and pests and da 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 in your garden, it's because of what you're doing. It's because you're creating like such a disturbance in the natural flow of everything there. So planting things more like this, where you have such a wide variety of stuff, it's like you just, um, all of the plants can help each other and you also create a situation where it's like the bugs don't even know where to start and there's there's just so much going on and uh, I love it. I think it's a really cool idea. So what I just did, I decided I was going to experiment in some of our garden beds out there that don't have anything in them yet and I went through all of our seeds that we have here and I just dumped a whole load of different seeds into this bowl. Um, there was lots of packets that had just like a few things left in them and so I'm just going to tell you what I put in there because I'm sure some of you might be interested. So it's a bit of a kooky mixture, and some of you are probably going to be like, what on earth are you doing? But it's just an experiment, you know? So we've got evening primrose, calendula, fenugreek, rosemary, Chinese cabbage, desert parsley, Mongolian dandelion, 
Creasy Greens, Meadow Sweet, Tatsoi, Mustard Greens, Cabbage, Chamomile, Lamb's Quarters, Dandelion, Summer Savory, Lemon Balm, Komatsuna, Corn Salad, and I also threw in a massive amount of lettuce seeds because one of our workers harvested a huge amount. We have like thousands and thousands of lettuce seeds outside. So I put some of those in. I put in some sunflower seeds. And I also put in some random mysterious things that no one knows what they are. You know, just like seeds that had fallen out in the bottom of other seed bags and stuff like that. So... We have a pretty eclectic mix going on in here and I'm really excited to go out and spread it around and we'll see what happens. Also, while we're talking about seeds, remember a few days ago we were planting all of the seeds from Blackbird's Naturals out in the garden and they have 13 of the wild crafted seeds and I only planted 12 because I got to the gojis and I was like, oh, there's whole gojis, I need to open them up. Well, Blackbird Naturals then told us that you don't need to open them up. That's why they left them like this. You just um, like cut into it, so that's as much as you open it up, and then just put them in the ground, and that's the way that they grow the best, and you end up with like goji bushes coming out of each berry. So I'm going to aim to get these guys in the ground, maybe today, maybe sometime soon as well. But for now, I'm going to go out and have fun broadcasting this little funky mixture and we'll see what comes up. Wasn't it just like two days ago when you planted all those other seeds on the camera TV show? Yeah, well, it was last Saturday, so uh, it's like five days ago. Five days ago she planted that, and we just had a huge rain. It's pretty cool how it rains at night here, but it started raining like crazy one night through the night, and um, there's all these little green sprouts now, just out of one day. Yeah, it's amazing. And those, all those tomatoes I planted, I planted 128 tomato seeds in a flat. And there was nothing there. And then the full moon came and all the rains came. And it <coughs> just the whole tray exploded. Now we have an entire tray of tomato seedlings. So um, the new tomato house is under construction as we speak. Getting ready. Cool. We'll see them in a bit. Okay. Check it out, guys, what we just did with the bamboo. We now got a real fence around our garden. And we even got a nice awesome door that they made. Expert bamboo artists. Woo! No horses allowed. And who do we got here? <laughs> what you doing? So I found some areas in the garden that, as far as I know, there's nothing planted in them. So I'm going to take the crazy seed mixture and do some broadcasting. You ready? Yeah. Woo! Ah! <laughs> and then um, we have some really good soil over there that the guys are working with. I'm going to get some of that and cover all these guys up. Um, and I'm going to do more over here as well. This also reminds me of, um, some of you might remember Irie, our dear friend from Canada who came down here when we first came here and was helping us with house plans. He's Katrina Reynashek's dad. Um, this reminds me a lot of his garden. He's got an amazing garden in Victoria, BC. And it's totally eclectic like this. Like he just throws seeds in all kinds of different ways. Beautiful permaculture garden. If you've ever seen the interview of me on CNN, that's in Irish Garden. You can see it all beautiful green blossoming in the background. I think a bit more here as well. So if you want to check it out, Seb Holzer's work, I believe his name is S-E-B and then H-O-L-Z-E-R. You might look him up on YouTube or Google or something. Forgive me if I spelt his name wrong, but it's something like that. The permaculture guy in Austria. And yeah, thank you Seb. Thank you Blackbird Naturals. Thank you to all the people who contributed to these seeds ending up in this bowl. I'm going into our ground, and I guess we'll update you in a few months. Awesome.
Thank you, Mr. Seb Pelder. Thank you, Blackbird Natural Foods. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Thank like you, Dad. <laughs> I'd like to thank my teachers. Thank you very much. And who do we got there? Angela Stokes Monarch. Making it all happen. And Matt Monarch. Excited about the garden. And we'll see you again tomorrow at the Raw Food World TV show. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again at the Raw Food World. So this is um, one of the very beautiful little Christmas gifts that Mr. Monarch bought for me. It's a little miniature ceramic house and I put it in the garden for the plant davers to hang out in if they want to. All the fairies and the plant davers. And it's next to um, the sacred Wilco tree that we planted on our first wedding anniversary. And this huge reishi which came off the dead tree. It's a nice little area, isn't it, Bobble? Mm.